Yeah. Welcome to LSB Feasters Radio Channel and Travel Corner. Today we're going to Philadelphia with Ken Gollett on 610 WIP. Uh, that was like the worst Ken Garland impersonation ever. Uh, Ken Garland did the morning show on WIP for years and years and years and years. Now, 610 WIP in Philadelphia was owned by Metro Media Radio, which also owned 1130 WNEW in New York. And the formats of the two stations were kind of similar. Uh, WIP was what was known as an MOR, middle of the road station, that kind of evolved into a full service AC. And and he took over the morning show in 1968 when the morning mayor Joe McCauley had died. Ken took over that position and he held the mornings on WIP from 1968 until the 1980s, about 1987. And for many of those years, he was the number one morning show in Philadelphia. He stayed there till 87 when the station went all sports. He later moved on to WPEN and he was there in Philadelphia until his retirement. Now, I used to own a hot dog cart in Philadelphia on the street, 15th and Walnut. And Ken would often come to my hot dog cart about 11, 11.30 in the morning morning, get something to drink right after he got off the air at WIP. So we had lots of time to talk about radio, and he just seemed to be a genuinely nice guy. Hope you enjoy the air check. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. And after you subscribe, smack that bell so you can get updates whenever we post anything. So if you're ready, let's go to Philadelphia and listen to Ken Garland on 610 WIP. At 9 o'clock, this is William Payne in the WIP Newsroom. An earthquake reported in central Mexico this morning. Chance of showers Saturday. Only a 10% chance of rain through tomorrow. At the airport and at Rittenhouse Square currently, it's 84 degrees. The humidity, 74%. Time now for sports. Five minutes past 9 o'clock, Charlie Swift for Household Finance, the company that says never borrow money needlessly. But when you need to borrow, you'll get more than just money from HFC. Household Finance, an equal opportunity lender. Never borrow money needlessly, but when you need to borrow, you get more than money at HFC. At Household, you may borrow up to $3,500 through Household Consumer Discount Company. HFC has 44 offices throughout the greater Philadelphia area. See your phone book for addresses. Charlie Swift for Household Finance, the company that has solved more financial problems for more people than anyone else in the business. That's HFC, Household Finance. Now, more music and the Ken Garland Show. Thank you. Normally, I would say I'm going to take it and run with it. This morning, I'll just take it. Welcome to WIP. <laughs> How posh. Well, there's an acceptable beginning to our fourth and final hour with you this morning. I'm sure to many of you ladies especially, it's more than acceptable. Oh, it's beautiful! Yes, it is, and so is he. He has a new record. I've just, I just read an ad. Just read an ad in one of the, uh, one of the music Bibles. A record called Love Is All. Described as beautifully interpreted by the master of love songs. I should imagine we'll be bringing you that within a very few minutes. As soon as the morning mail comes in. This is Ken Garland and welcome to more of WIP's hot, hazy, humid and uh, Tuesday. It's 14 minutes past 9 o'clock. We've come off the first cash call of the day. And uh, we have $147.61 in the pot. That's one forty-seven sixty-one. The Philadelphia temperature is up to 84 degrees. And let's depart that subject in a hurry. WIP And get back to our main thing, which is music. No That's Eve Graham and the uh, the New Seekers group, and the greatest song I've ever heard. And it just may be that. It's 18 minutes past 9 o'clock. WIP Good Morning Time is 18 past 9. I'm going to hum a famous Philadelphia tune, and I'd like you to identify it for me, okay? Here it okay. goes. Okay. Dom, 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 dom. Dom, 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 dom. Yeah, do you know what it is? That's the Action News team. Not anymore. 
That's the action news, a whole lot of film theme now. Now I'm going to listen to this in Don Don. Right. They're, they're downtown, is it? Well, no, it's down, down, down. Channel 6, action news, a lot of film with Larry Kane when he gets a chance. Larry, we seem to be seeing so much more news film and very little of you on action news every night. How does this make you feel? I love it. Let me explain it to you. Uh, excuse me, Larry. I'm sorry. I hate to interrupt, but you won't believe this news film report we just got in. His name is Larry Kane. I say it just in case. With all the action news film, you might forget his face. Channel 6 Action News with Larry King. That's a whole lot of film. <laughs> yes. 19 past 9 o'clock. I was mentioning yesterday, much earlier, we have a uh, 20 minutes that we do between 10 minutes past 6 and 6.30 in the morning, which is sort of the warm-up period. We don't really do the program. <laughs> Old man Kelly, the boss, will be interested to hear that. We don't really do the program. We do so. We sort of get in the spirit of it, and all all the serious errors that are going to be made, see, are made in that first twenty minutes. It's a, kind of a dry run. So I was just a, a, we had just done this Channel Six commercial, and I was struck by the fact that they now have a, a, a jingle. Evidently, his name is Larry Kane. Do do do. And I said, I thought that was really terrific because what that is is a it's a commitment. On, on, the, on behalf of the station. Now, if, for instance, if you were a salesman in a shoe store and you were the star salesman and they spend about 90 bucks to put a sign up outside that says, Sal Calibro sells shoes in this store. See, now they've spent the 90 bucks. That's a commitment on behalf of them to you. That indicates that they're interested in having people know that you're there and they've spent a few bucks to advertise it, and it makes you feel a little bit more secure. You know you'll be there for a few weeks because the boss don't spend $90 for nothing. Now, these jingles are expensive, cost a lot of people to perform in them and produce them and record them and everything. So, uh, so Kane probably feels pretty good, you know. So I was just, I, so I wish I could get my own jingle. I, really, I'd be thrilled if the station would spend eighty-five <laughs> to have some drunk come in from Market Street, you know, and sing, that garland is a darling in the morning, something like, <laughs> something like that. Well, so much for that. It's uh, t too much for that. 20 minutes past 9 o'clock. And uh, it's, uh, gee, the relative humidity a it actually is falling. You know, it was stuck up in the 90s yesterday at this time. It's, it's down to 74, but I don't think it feels very much different than yesterday. It's much warmer, 84 degrees already, and we may very well pop some kind of a record this afternoon with a high figure to be from the mid to the upper 90s. Hazy, hot, and humid weather continues at least through tomorrow. Goodbye now. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's Sammy. That's a delightful, uh, just a delightful song. It's been around for a number of years. It's never really been a hit, but it gets a few recordings. It gets a recording every now and then. Michelle uh, Legrand's song. The Sweet Gingerbread Man, and it's uh, 24 minutes past 9 o'clock on WIP. Oh, boy, I can hear that cold, carbonated stuff gurgling in the glass beginning now and for the rest of the day. Here come the unsugars from NoCal. Bouncy, bubbly NoCal flavors. Fresh, fruity, soft drink flavors. Black cherry, cola, orange, root beer, and cream. New Shape Up and Red Pop, ginger, chocolate, lots more. Soda's just as sweet as they can be, but they've got no sugar, no sugar at all. Just 16 ounces that never add a pound. Try the unsugars from No Cal. You'll have nothing to show for it. The newest unsugar from NoCal is Tangy Shape Up. Lemon with just a hint of lime and no sugar at all. If you're trying to shape up, try Shape Up. It's delicious. Thank you. 25 minutes past 9 o'clock, 25 past 9 here in the beautiful city of Philadelphia. And it really is a beautiful city. And anybody that doubts it, uh, perhaps they had their mind changed somewhat by a a wonderful column in this past Sunday's Inquirer. Jim Wooten is a guy, I don't even remember when he, and I don't know him, I've never met him, but I certainly admire his work. He goes beyond being an interesting feature writer. He writes beautifully, really writes 
beautifully, I think. And uh, I say that with practically no qualification other than being just a, a regular reader. And I don't even remember when he came to town. All of a sudden, his column was there, and he allowed us how right away he was a newcomer to Philadelphia and had a lot to learn. He sure learned fast because he's found a, a lot of the positive things about our city and... Uh, uh, with no embarrassment whatsoever, writes about them regularly and has a very incisive eye for what's going on around us. You know, the things that are right under your snoot that you don't notice, but a newcomer sees right away. And he did a column this past Sunday, which was absolutely just a lovely column on the reasons to enjoy and how to enjoy and where to go to enjoy Philadelphia. As a matter of fact, the heading was, despite its foes, Philadelphia is a city to see and love. And then he went ahead and he applied an almost uh, poetic uh, touch to, uh, to the Schuylkill Expressway. It says, the way the town looks when you're driving south on the Schuylkill Expressway at night, that regal centerpiece of a yellow clock just beneath William Penn's feet atop City Hall. And the Franklin Institute, that gathering of gadgets and gimmickry that delights all of us who think we know something about everything, and our children who, of course, know better. And the Fountain and JFK Plaza and the Ben Franklin Bridge and Christ Church and Jack Einhorn, the world's most famous traffic cop at Broad and Vine, was just a lovely, lovely column. And as a relative newcomer to Philadelphia, I've only been here eight or nine years, you know. <laughs> that isn't long when you're talking about Philadelphia. Uh, I thought it was just a marvelous job, and I thought somebody ought to say so. I'm sure that nobody said so over at the paper, but if you read it, I'm sure you feel the same as I. <laughs>